Hello, hello, and welcome to part... You've gotta be joking me. Hello, hello, and welcome everyone to part two of Marina's beach spa mermaid thing. Yeah. The video did end up getting split into two, I, as you may have noticed, and it is complete over there. I'm recording this very late, very, very late, but because I know it's been a long wait for you guys, I'm gonna jump right into it. Okay, so starting off, I kinda look around the area, place down the shell table, contemplate my life choices. I, I didn't know what I was doing. The first thing that I could think of was placing down these boards and making an, like a, I think I ended up wanting to make it into like a nail salon area. Don't get attached to that idea. The whole vibe of this build was essentially, I have an idea, I try it, it sucks, and I move on to trying something else. <laughs> so I apologize. There's not a, don't get too attached too soon to different things. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of like flit around as usual, placing this ta the, not table, bed, poolside bed down, trying to make it look cute. This, it all has a purpose though. So, <laughs> essentially, like, what ends up happening for me and what's kind of my thought process is I end up, like, making things and it doesn't work, but it's like there's little pieces. There's little pieces of it that worked, and I'll use that later. So, this isn't a good example. This is just a bed in the dirt, but <laughs> you see me, like, destroying it immediately, just being like, nope, nope. It's, it's a lot of trial and error. I feel like in Animal Crossing especially because you it's such a pain to kind of move stuff around compared to like, like Dreamlight Valley or something. I'm a lot more hesitant to put down a lot of stuff, I guess. I don't really know. But you see here, it's like this little, this little area is coming together. It's, I love the items. It was just basically the problem, I think. I think the problem was that it was just a really tight space. It's very, it's more vertical, but even not that much. It's in this awkward little corner here with me struggling, like, <laughs> struggling so much with these fences. There just wasn't space for the thing I was trying to do. And especially next to the more natural way that I usually build, it just, it, it looked pretty funky. You know, but I kept trying. I kept trying really hard. And what I ended up with here, where you kind of see it coming together a little bit, I'm not mad about it. It's, like, it's cute, I think. It's not, like, amazing, but it ends up being cute. It just wasn't right. It wasn't right for the space. It wasn't right for the builds. And I feel like that happens a lot, you know? Maybe I'm just rambling. <laughs> Here's me, like, trying to figure out... You literally see me go, like, back and forth, like, comparing the two sides. Because <laughs> it just... I knew, I knew already that it didn't look right, but it was pretty cute, so I wanted to leave it. So instead, I... Instead of, like, dealing with that, that mental hurdle, I start placing paths down. It helps me kind of figure out the flow of something, especially for something so awkward like this. Like, it's a... It's, like, long and narrow. The beaches suck. Like, they suck. <laughs> I don't know how much more beach I'm gonna do. Also, look how pretty this is at night. Wow. Maybe I should... No, I don't think that would work. But I would do a night fairy core island. That is really cute. Anyways, back to flitting about and panicking. <laughs> My friggin' pockets are full. I swear. So I go running back and... We're cleaning this up. I had already decided, I was like, no, this doesn't fit. You know, you know how it goes. But I still really wanted those white boards <laughs> to be a part of this. Um, we start taking this down. I, and it turns into this little smaller area and the chair comes back and here, here you see, you see it like the little pieces of things that I've already done and scrapped because I thought they were horrible, they're, they can be repurposed. They can be saved. 
They're not bad ideas, just bad executions. I also really, tr I really wanted this lamp in this build. I tried it in so many different places. You don't even know, because I cut out all of the failed lamp placements, like that one. <laughs> but I also wanted to use that table. As per usual, we're moving. We're flitting back around. Placed a pond stone, placed this globe, which is so dang cute. And it was pretty cute there. I just end up using the space for something else. You know, these little birds. It's just a lot of, a lot of trying, <laughs> trying to get my life together. And the, the little custom cat, oh my god. And then the bed. Okay, the, the bed ended up looking a lot cuter this way, I swear. I just couldn't find a real reason to have this singular massive bed in a way that looked natural. I'm sure, it, I'm sure I could. I'm sure I could. It's a spa. Like, you can have your beautiful mermaid princess bed. I just am not, I guess I'm not that smart. I'm not that clever. I don't know what a spa is. But we have another one of these little bath things. I'm gonna ignore that it's like literally on the other side of the house. Exactly, the, almost exactly the same. <laughs> they're just, they're perfect. They're when I don't know what to place, I just slap a hot spring into the sand. <laughs> This, this item too, this like, um, this pot of cherry blossoms or whatever, super cute. Why? Why is it that many tiles? Like, it wouldn't move. It wouldn't go anywhere. It was horrible. Also, me with the Pisces lamp again. I think I, did I even end up using it? I actually don't remember. I guess we'll have to see. Justice for Pisces lamp, you know? So, <laughs> the freaking boxes, like... <laughs> What is it called? Like the, the tile amounts, like I can't walk. I get it, I understand it, but I wanna be able to walk close to these items. The weird like hit box, I don't know what else to call It's a hit box now. Most of these items, but also like the bath made it so hard to fill that little space. I ended up just throwing things, but it still looks empty. I spent so long like figuring out which way I want this. <laughs> it's like unnecessary, it's embarrassing really. <laughs> But he's there, and he's there to stay, and I love him. You know, it doesn't really make sense to have that there either, come to think of it, but, like, I gotta have it somewhere. I needed something to fill that space, so, like, don't at me. We're fussing, we're flitting, trying to get this to work, giving up. I'm sorry, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, like, watching this back over as I talk over it, and my god... I cannot stay focused. I'm putting things on the other side of the build now. Like, <laughs> there is no consistency. But I did think it'd be really cute to kind of drop these items everywhere. Like, I know they naturally appear on the beach, but I want more. Like, just clutter, just trash, beach trash. Let there be beach trash. <laughs> and then this big pink shell table. Spoilers, I don't believe it ends up staying. But it's very pink, and I do like it. Same with these little lamps. Very pearly and cute. I think I do end up realizing there is not a lot of white here. It's very, very pink. So, we'll, we'll take some time in a minute, I believe, to kind of fix that little hermit crab friend. There were, there were so many of these, like, awkward spaces like this. Especially because I had the path, like, cutting through the middle of the beach. It left me with a lot of, like, narrow, long areas, which I suck at. I don't know what to do with those. I need a... I don't really know what to do with most spaces. It, they're all intimidating in different ways. Like, a big circle or a big square is intimidating because it's, like, there's no direction. There's no guide for, like, where to put stuff. But when it's long and lanky like the beaches, it's, like, the opposite. Like, there's only, it's like a one-by-one one tile path for me to place items on, and I'm just like, I don't know what to do with that, because now it's just in a straight line. <laughs> Pisces lamp returns. We're figuring this area out. I, overall, I think it already looks cute. Like, if I had left it like that, I think it'd be fine, but, you know, I gotta do more. We gotta find a way. There were, honestly, so many items that I wanted to use, and eventually I just... Not even ran out of space, but I just couldn't figure out how to 
use them, how to fit them. Like I had these little cucumber cheeks that I think I was wearing for like most of the last video. And I just, I didn't have anywhere to put them in the end. I didn't end up using them and I'm so sad. I still want to cram them in somewhere. <laughs> so now I'm fussing with this rock path. I don't like the rocks to be the same and like touching or, and, but I also don't want them repeating, you know? So the fact that I only had two did not help those strict circumstances to work out. And more random placements, random items. I think one of my biggest issues, like kind of meta commentating on myself here, one of my biggest issues is I put these like restrictions on myself and I have to, throughout a video, like how many builds have I done? Not that many, but throughout, for all the build videos, I start with like these strict restrictions and then I have to like break them down <laughs> over the course of the like, I usually record for like five or six hours cause I'm stupid. And over that time, I'll like tell myself that like I need to do this this way. Like, oh, it needs to have a like dedicated area for like nails in this build or what, or there needs to be like, like it needs to all be stone or whatever. Like, oh, this is a developed area. So it has to have like stone walkways. And then I just slowly like, because it doesn't work because the restrictions I put on myself are stupid. <laughs> like they're not good restrictions. I have to keep telling myself, it's like, well, you know, it's kind of okay if the carnival has dirt paths or it's okay if there's not like every tile of the beach covered or if there's a random whatever in the middle of it, you know, like, <laughs> I hope that makes sense and doesn't sound really like, cr like ridiculous or stupid. I don't know. It's, I need to like start without expectations. And then here we go, the mermaid shelf. I love, I love the mermaid shelf. It's so cute. It just, I didn't know where else to put it. I had the, I was so worried I wasn't gonna be able to make it fit when I did finally convince myself to go with the natural vibe as, as I should have started. Like I did the other side kind of interspersed with this. It was a whole thing. It's always a whole thing. And see, here is where I was like, yeah, that is really pink. Like with the table and the pink shell stool and the pink partition. So I did change those. Used our cute little table. I finally got a table <laughs> after all this time. And I didn't use it where, I think it was in the last build. <laughs> I struggled finding that table and I just never did. But here is our stupid random little tea table that is so cute and I'm so happy about it for no reason. Like, I think it would have made more sense if I had like the, the fruity water dispenser. Like I know, I'm sure they have those at spas, but the pink tea set with the, the mermaid chairs was really cute. And overall, I think this is about where I'm done. I just kind of stand there staring at Marina for a while. So, yeah, let's do our final walkthrough of... Oh, okay. Let me just pick that up real quick. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is the last thing, and then let's... We're good. Time for walkthrough. Alrighty, so I am actually recording this before my voiceover, so sorry if I repeat myself. But we're gonna start up here so that it's a, a slower reveal, even though completely unnecessary, because you guys have seen everything. But it's more dramatic this way, I promise. So, <laughs> okay. So down we go. This first little area is, <laughs> was a pain. It definitely was a pain. But I love this cute little area. You can only sit on this one, which, you know, that's normal. <laughs> but I think it turned out pretty well. It's kind of the only part that's like, like, unna I don't know how to say it other than unnatural. <laughs> like it's got this weird little table thing and the boards, but it's a cute little, little tiny area. You just kind of sit there with your perfume cabinet as you do. This, I wanted to use it as a bed, but it just, oh, Jesus. <laughs> 
don't know. I, I just couldn't find a way for it to fit, but it's kind of really cool. It's just a massive shell. Just unreasonably sized clam shell. <laughs> but then we go down. Here I could use this to play some music if I had any. <laughs> I need to do that. What is wrong with me? But yeah, it's kind of sparse. Nothing specific up in a lot of this area, I guess. Um, but it's it's pretty cute. Like, it ended up doing what it needed to be once I let myself kind of relax. I think it came along a lot faster and easier. Then we have our little second bath on the other side of the house because they're just too dang cute. And the little tea set, which, like, has no real reason to be here but it's just so cute and so pink just realized you can't sit there perfect yeah <laughs> but we got some little birds hanging out it's cute and this whole side ended up being like it didn't really make a lot of sense but it turned out cute and that's much more important to me than use fashion over function people then we go down a little more, and this this is the end of it. Like, it was a pretty small area, all things considered. But we've got our big butterfly model that I love. He is perfect. Yeah, he's fine that way. And random flowers, as you do. And then here is the front of the house, back to connecting to the other part of the builds. Um, I will redo her house eventually once I finally get there in Happy Home Paradise but it doesn't it's not too bad it fits pretty well but yeah and then here's the original side there's still nothing really here but that's fine but yeah thank you guys so much for your patience while I worked on this video my life has been falling apart but I'm still here I'm still here in some small way um, but yeah, I do really appreciate you guys sticking with me, waiting for the second half. Um, I do have plans. I have plans, but I'm kind of just chilling. Like, you know, I'm just kind of making stuff as I feel up to it. I hope you guys understand. You guys are super sweet and great. I'm sure you do. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!